guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing another ColourPop live swatching video. You guys, I have like two, three more of these coming your way. <sighs> ColourPop keeps me busy. And again, I don't ever want you guys to feel like my channel is just dedicated to ColourPop. It just happens to be my most requested video of all time. They are my most viewed videos. And every time I'm like, let me skip this collection so I can get some other content out, I get hundreds of tweets and DMs and comments saying, when are you gonna do the blah 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 collection live swatches? So I don't ever want you to feel like I'm just overwhelming you with them. I'm just doing what people are asking for, so I hope that's okay. I have no control over what ColourPop releases, and honestly, at this point, I feel like I need to start a second channel just for their stuff so I can get some other content out. But luckily, Sheamus is right around the corner, and that's my 25 video marathon for 25 days until Christmas Eve. That will be starting November 30th, so we will have tons of time for extra content then. That was a mouthful. Anyway, today we are live swatching and doing a little mini tutorial with the ColourPop uh, Fly With Me collection. I believe it's called. Is that right? Let's fly away. It's super cute, butterfly themed. I saw some people asking if this is like an extension from their previous butterfly collection. I don't think so. I think they're just really driving home the butterfly theme. And honestly, who doesn't love butterflies? Like they're just so beautiful. So this collection has a palette. We have a lipstick set. We have a body highlighter, which I'm really excited about. Jelly Much eyeshadows and Super Shock shadows. Now, believe it or not, this is a smaller collection from ColourPop. So what I normally do for these videos, if they are a smaller collection, I will go ahead and do a quick run through tutorial using some of the products and then we'll get into the live swatches. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on fast forward, throw on some banging music for you guys. Banging. <laughs> I'll do a real quick eye look for you guys and yeah we'll just keep on moving to the live swatches. So as you're watching this if you see anything you do want to pick up again you guys know I do have a ColourPop discount code. It is an affiliate code so do not use it if you're not comfortable. My code is Shay, S-H-A-E, and that'll save you 10% off of ColourPop. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys, I originally set out to do so much more. That was like the quickest little eye look in the world. But this is so beautiful. I did not want to push it any farther. Some things are just better, just light and airy. And this is such a romantic, light and airy eye look. Oh my God. I don't know that I've been so in love with a ColourPop product in a very long time. And I'm specifically talking about this Jelly Much eyeshadow. Look at this on the eyes. Look at that glow. Look at that sheen. But not only that, like it's two perfect worlds clashing together. It's subtle and romantic and beautiful, but you have that wow factor from the glow and they just collide together to make this beautiful, understated, yet wow moment. It is breathtaking, oh my god. I literally just ordered five more because I never want to be without this shadow. This is Bouquet Jelly Much Eyeshadow, just like right off the bat, I need to say it's the most beautiful thing in the world. I paired it with the Virgo Moon lipstick. It is gorgeous. They don't it's not that they don't go together, but I don't think it's a common uh, lip choice people would pick. You might choose something a little more mauve something more in the purple family, but I kind of really like how these colors play off of each other. And like I said, it's different, it's unexpected, and I really like that, but oh my gosh. This baby, this baby is so beautiful. I can't even talk about it. And of course, I only tried one, yeah. I only used one eyeshadow from the palette, which is shocking to me, but I just didn't want to do anything else. This was perfect. And you just, you cannot mess with perfection. You got to leave it alone. So, oh my goodness, you guys, blown away by the beauty of this. I know a lot of people were disappointed in comments I saw online saying it's like, you know, a bunch of the same mold. And it might be, everything else might be. We don't know yet. This is the wow factor in this whole collection. We'll try the others, of course, and there might be others, but I can't imagine anything else topping this. I mean, that is just breathtaking. Now that we've, you know, done a little mini look with this, I wanna go ahead and live swatch the lip colors and then we'll get into all the eye stuff. Oh, you know what, real quick, let's talk about this. This is the ColourPop Flyby Pixie Pop Highlighter. First of all, the most delicate and beautiful little package I've ever seen in my life. I, in fact, 
don't even really want to use it much because I don't want it to get dirty. I want it to stay clean and cute because it would look so beautiful on a vanity or on your bathroom counter or on your makeup desk. Like wherever your little beauty haven is, it's just like a beautiful accessory. Whether I like the makeup or not, I would want this for my desk. But this is what it looks like inside. And as you saw, it does come with a really cute little puff puff. So you can, you know, put it on the shoulders. But like think if you're going to a wedding or a really nice event, just kind of like getting all glowy and stuff. The glow itself is kind of rosy and it has a lot of gold shimmer. That's it there, and I do have it on my cheeks. You can see it gives a really pretty subtle glow. I really wasn't, I don't show my body much because of hate comments, so I decided to just put it on my face and it definitely has a rosy tone to it. I don't have any blush on, but you can see how it really made the cheeks rosy but still gave that really pretty kind of candle-like glow. So let's talk about the lipsticks, shall we? So the fun thing about the lipsticks is you can get them in this beautiful set. Let me close it so you can see it in all its glory. Uh, the Come Fly With Me, ColourPop lipstick set. This is the Velvet Blur formula, my favorite formula. It's just wonderful. You don't feel it on. It stays on really, really well. It leaves a kind of nice tint to the lips once it does wear off, but you're not left looking patchy like an ultra matte lip. And it's not goopy. I hate super thick, super creamy lipsticks that get on everything. This is very, very light and as you can see, it like hardly transfers. It performs exactly the way it's described. It's just, it's velvety, it's blurring. The set is $34. It comes in this gorgeous, really collectible packaging. It is a breathtaking collection. I was just flabbergasted when I saw this in person. I just could not believe how gorgeous it is. So I know I already have this color on, but I still want to try it just so you guys can see it up close and personal. So this here's the shade Virgo Moon. It's just, it's romantic, isn't it? I love it. I love this color. I cannot wait to see the others, but this one really, really excited me. So there is Virgo. Next we have the shade Bloom to Bloom. This is the shade I originally uh, tried to pair with this eye, but for some reason it was a little too bright for me, I think. I can't remember now why I chose to go with Virgo Moon instead, but yeah. Bloom to Bloom, that's really pretty too. I really like this one. It's a little more toned down. It still has juiciness to it. It's still vibrant. It's almost like a burnt peachy color, wouldn't you say? Next we have the shade Slow Dance. Look at this one. Doesn't that look pretty? Oh, they're just like so smooth. They really are velvety. Ooh, I really like this. This is kind of a break from your traditional red lip. It's almost like a, maybe like a red brown lip. I don't know, something about it really reminds me of like the 1920s. It's like a very vintage color, you know? And it's just a little something different. So there's the shade Slow Dance. Ooh, the next shade we have here is called Come On Clover. This looks super vampy, doesn't it? Oh, I could have done this lip with these eyes. That would have been really cool. Oh my God, oh my God, I love this color. This is so pretty. I'm sure we've seen a color like this from ColourPop before. I'm just positive we have. I can't think of one off the top of my head, but it is so rich and vibrant, yet deep and sexy, and it's not too overwhelming. Like, it's a power lip for sure, but I think you won't feel awkward in it. Sometimes certain lip colors, if they're too loud or if they're too dark, I feel a little awkward, I just do. This one I don't, I feel super hot in this, and I think it's beautiful. So there is the shade, come on, Clover. Oh, that's funny. Like, come on over. Come on, Clover. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the shade Oasis. Ooh, this is pretty. Wow, that is brighter than I thought it was in the tube. I feel like in the tube they look a little bit darker or a little bit more muted than they truly are on the lips, but this is fun. It's juicy. Definitely have a lot, a lot of color. So yeah, there is the shade Oasis. So what do you guys think of the lipsticks? Do you have a favorite color? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you gonna just go ahead and pick up the set? Can you skip it all together? Let me know your thoughts. So next, let's move on to the Jelly Much eyeshadows. We will first start with my favorite, and I know you guys already saw this on the eyes, but I did have eyeshadow on at the time, and this on top of it, so we should probably see what it looks like alone. And oh, the packaging, I try not to go nuts over the packaging, but it's just beautiful. So here is Bouquet up close and personal. Look at that beautiful icy lavender. I mean, it is just a stunner. I'm going to apply this with my finger, but if you guys like to use a brush, you know I always recommend the Cream Color E58 from Sigma. It's fantastic for creams, glitters, liquid shadows, things like this. Like anything that has creaminess to it, not to mention just like packing on traditional eyeshadow as well, but it's super great with these type of textures. I just have never loved anything as much as I love this shadow. I'm not even kidding you. This is outstanding. This product right here will probably go down in my personal history books of best makeup from ColourPop ever. I'm telling you guys, if this is limited edition, I am going to vomit. 
I will be so pissed off. In fact, I'm going to text ColourPop right now and ask like, so what's the deal with these products? Because I need this to be moved to a permanent item, please. Please do not be limited edition. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. This is what I'm wearing to my husband's Christmas work party. I just have to. I feel like a stunner. It's no secret how much I love this. I just absolutely adore it. Get Bouquet. If you haven't, get Bouquet. Again, you can use my discount code SHAVE for 10% off. It is freaking worth it with this one. Just speechless. This, I don't know that I'm gonna love. I usually hate white things. This is called Buttercup. This is called Buttercup. Note the packaging, really pretty. It is really gorgeous. We'll see, if it shows up white, I'm gonna hate it. Mm. Oh, I don't hate it. Okay, when you get it on the lid, it's just kind of a, an amazing platinum glitter. And I was just worried that it was gonna be just white chalky grossness with glitter in it, but it's actually beautiful. And actually when it's on the lid, it doesn't look white at all. It's basically just a rainbow of pastels. It does not look white at all. This shocked me. This just shocked me. I thought it was gonna be horrible. Oh God, I love these. I love these. These are the best jelly mud shadows I've ever freaking tried. Anyway, this is the shade Buttercup. It is absolutely stunning, pastel micro glitter, and I am so happy that it's not just white. Oh my God, so happy. Next, we're getting into the Super Shock shadows. So we have four different ones. Again, has the stunning packaging, absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, the packaging is so pretty. This one is so glittery and just gorgeous. It's also like sheer, which is really cool. You can see through it. This first shade is called Mighty Morphin. And just to show, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but even the label has glitter on it. I think that's a nice touch. This looks like it'll be a nice gold. It's been a minute since we live swatched Super Shock Shadows. This is fun. So pretty, oh my goodness. I love how sheer this one is. It's such a great little top coat, or you could wear it alone. It's definitely more of a pale gold though. I think you could also layer it to get a higher impact of shimmer there. Really pretty, a little similar to the Jelly Much shadows, but not quite as vavoom. This one's a little more subtle, a little more toned down. So there is the shade Mighty Morphin. The next shade is called Flying Circus. It's like a pretty purple. I feel like on camera it's not showing up as purple. Oh, it's actually, it has a lot more blue. This is like the prettiest collection I've seen in the longest time. I wish so many more people watched my videos because I saw a lot of people not excited about this collection at all. And I feel like if they would see it on the eyes, it would change their mind. This is absolutely breathtaking. It's purple, it's pink, it's blue. It's literally a butterfly. It's the wings of a butterfly on your eyeball. Oh my goodness. Just nothing could do with this eyeshadow justice. It's just beautiful, romantic, soft. It's just beautiful, romantic, soft magic. It's a butterfly. It's the feeling you get from butterflies. Like that is this collection. That is so beautiful. I think this is gonna be my favorite Super Shock shadow. It's gonna be hard for me to pick another. Flying Circus is just breathtaking, you guys. Unbelievably beautiful. The camera will never do it justice. You have to see this in person. It is stunning. The next shade is called Like a Butterfly. Looks like a bronzy, coppery color. With some pink in there, I think. Oh my goodness. You guys are gonna freak out. Oh my God. How are they doing this? How are they doing this? Every single time with this collection, I thought something was just gonna be like, kinda like, eh? And then I actually get it on the skin and you just see the amazingness. This, yes, is a beautiful bronze, but it has purple, pink, gold, blue sparkle in it. There's just so much color and texture to it. Again, I know I keep saying this, but the camera will never do these colors justice. There's something so special about this collection, you guys. Oh my God, I'm telling you, if you think you've seen things like this from ColourPop before, you have not. Look how rich and beautiful that is. But the one thing I just hate that I feel like won't translate well on camera is the sparkle. It is such a unique sparkle glow. It is so much. It's just breathtaking. Honest to God, the Jelly Mutt shadows and the Super Shock shadows have been just such stars of this collection for me. I'm worried now I'm going to be disappointed by the eyeshadow palette. If anything, I'm thinking that these are going to be just the superstars of this collection. My goodness, I can't get over the beauty, you guys. It is absolutely radiant. Perfect for the winter. We're going to look so cute with this on. Oh my God. And our last Super Shock shadow, this is called Ringlet. This looks like a fun one, doesn't it? Ooh, 
Ooh, that's bright. It's not my favorite out of all that we've tried. I love it a lot, but it's not my favorite. Oh my God, it just gets brighter with the second layer. It's crazy. I would love to do like a really brown smoky eye and then just like softly layer this in the middle. I think would be a really cool, fun pop of color. I actually might do that tutorial. That sounds like fun. I'd like to try that out. But anyway, yeah, there is Ringlet. It is a bright orchid. Lots of pink and blue glitter in there to give it a really nice sparkle. It Last but not least, you guys, we're getting into the Flutter by Eyeshadow Palette. The packaging, I can't, I'm just a sucker for it. I love the gold foil on the palette itself. And this also has all those different textures. You have the matte background, the glossy finished butterflies, and then you have like a glitter, an actual glitter glued onto the palette that gives it a really nice texture. The very first shade is called Just Imagine. I'm intrigued by this palette because you guys know I'm not a fan of purple whatsoever. I do not like purple, but this is dusty enough. It's like super dusty tones that I think I actually really might like it. I love lavender. I hate purple. This is a really beautiful satin color, like a satiny beige. Oh, it's beautiful. I love colors like this. It's great all over the lid. It's great as a brow highlight. It's great as an inner corner highlight. Anything that you want to zhuzh up and make a little prettier, a little more glam, but softly, this is the type of shadow you want to use. And it does have a sheen, so that is what it looks like dry. I want to go ahead and wet the brush now. And that just makes it a lot more wet looking, a lot more sleek. And you get a little more pigment this way, or, or it at least like livens it up a bit. You know what I'm saying? It just makes it a little brighter. But super pretty, nothing unique though. We've seen this a thousand times before, but I do really love it. So there is the shade Just Imagine. The next shade is called Wild Wing. It looks super taupey dusty. Oh yeah, when you get it on the lid, you definitely see more of that dusty purple tone. It is so soft and gorgeous. Is this what I used in my tutorial? Yes, it is, duh. I already knew that I loved this color. It packs more color than what it looks like in the pan. She is a beauty. Imagine that transition tone. I do not have enough words to describe these colors. They're just lovely, they're soft, they're ethereal. They're just, it's like goddess makeup in my opinion. I just think it's beautiful. We have another matte shade here. This is kind of like a soft, dusty, mauve peach. Can it even be all those shades? I don't know. More rosy tones than mauve, I would say. Or no, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know, you know? I love this brush, by the way. This is the Soft Focus Shader E52 from Sigma. Super great when you're just like trying to get a really big area really quickly. You guys, I'm such a pushover. I just really am. This is just such a romantic palette. So far, it has me swooning. These are the types of tones I love. I love, I mean, I love color, don't get me wrong, and I love really bright things too, but I think my soul is with just this subtle, muted, just elegance. It's just so stunning. I am super stoked for this next shade. This shade here is called Gotta Fly. It is a shimmer. It doesn't look to be super high shine, super high metallic. It looks like one that I really like where it's not too metallic, if there could be such a thing. But sometimes in a shadow, I do like something a little less high shine. This is really pretty. I would kind of say this is like a bit of like a cherry bronze, if that makes sense. And of course we are applying it with a dry brush first. Please forgive the fallout on my face because I'm using a dry brush. It's, you know, the somewhat shiny shades don't always stick to dry brushes as well as um, a matte shadow does. But there she is. Do you see what I mean by kind of like a cherry bronze? It's definitely a bronze, but it has a pop of cherry in it. It's really, really beautiful. Let's go ahead and wet the brush now. And that just really gives it that foiled finish. It doesn't really, I don't think it really amps it up much. It doesn't change the color much, but it just makes it a little sleeker, a little smoother. It just kind of has, you know, a soft glisten to it, but it's not super high shine. And actually that's what I love about it. So that is the shade Gotta Fly. Ooh, this one looks super shiny. This one is called Sun Flare. That looks like an appropriate name for it. Okay, I'm really excited about this one. Just as I get done saying that like, I love when things aren't too metallic. Whoa. This is so, sh you know what, this one, it's like clustering up a bit. I think this is gonna be a finish that is best done with your fingers, as weird as that sounds. It's almost like it needs that pressure from your finger. Yeah, 100%. I think this is 
best done with your finger. It's so soft. It's like super, super soft and fine that I think something about the warmth and the pressure from your finger kind of blends it out a little bit better than a brush can. With shadows so soft like this, sometimes the brushes just, they like cluster them up. I don't know how to describe it, but that is beautiful. It is almost impossible to describe. It's a light lavender, but there's a little bit of a green sheen to it. It's again, very much like a butterfly wing, how it looks one color, but then in the light, it has that beautiful shine. It is mind-blowingly beautiful. Mind you, this was put on dry. I'm a little nervous to wet it. I don't know how it will react. I'm actually just gonna take the smallest amount of makeup setting spray on my finger and work it into the shadow and see what effect it gives. Oh, it definitely just foils it a bit more. Um, and I feel like it really makes that, it like, makes like a blue sheen come out a little bit more. That is butterfly magic, people. I am super digging this palette. This is beautiful. So there is the shade Sun Flare. All right, so the next shade is a pressed glitter, you guys. This is called Overpacked. Now listen, <laughs> I know there's no way to make absolutely everybody happy. In most of the past live swatching videos that I've done where we've had a palette with a pressed glitter in there, I've swatched it on the eyes because it's in an eyeshadow palette. And again, these are not intended for eye use. And I was getting a lot of complaints and kind of like basically people calling me stupid for putting this on my eye. So in my past live swatching video, there was a pressed glitter and I didn't do the eye swatch of it because people really, you know, seem to be upset that I did that. So then on that video, I had a ton of comments saying I would have much preferred to see you swatch the glitter on your eye because that's where I'm going to use it anyway. And I know it's not intended for the eye, but I'm going to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it on my eye. I want to give you guys a tip for removal this time though. So, and again, it's up to you what you do with your products, you guys. If you put it on your eye, that's your choice. You've been warned not to because legally they have to warn you that. This looks like a nice light lavender. It has lavender glitter, pale gold glitters, and like rose gold. It's super, super fabulous. It really is. And it complements this palette so very well. I mean, it is just a dream. That is absolutely gorgeous. So there is the shade, or the glitter I should say, Overpacked. Get a good look at that. Isn't it stunning? Now, for removal, I wanna show you guys what I do. This is a little tip, a little trick. Tape. Take a piece of tape. This will help you in protecting your eye from any possible uh, injuries from glitter falling into your eyes. Now, of course, it could fall any time throughout the day that you're wearing them. So, you know, that's the risk you take with eye glitter. But I just take the tape and I so lightly press it. I don't like, get on there, you know. You wanna be gentle with your eye area. And I just kind of run my finger over the tape a few times and then lightly peel it off. Look, at you can see all the glitter coming off onto the tape. And this usually takes about, depending on how much glitter you have on the eyes, I would say one to three pieces of tape should get almost all the glitter off. Of course, glitter is glitter. You're always left with a few pieces somewhere. But this is how I take it without really rubbing it and squishing it into my eyes and getting it in the skin. You can keep your eyes closed the whole time. See, look at that. We barely have any on. And third time's a charm. Again, you don't want to press the adhesive too hard. You don't want to be tearing it off of your eye whatsoever. Just very, very lightly. And there is our last one. And look at that little bit of glitter left, but the majority of it came off on the tape. Easy, easy, easy way to get your glitter off. Only use three little pieces of tape, and then the leftover few little pieces you can easily remove with a makeup remover wipe. The next shadow is called Mariposa, and it is, if you can tell right here, it is one of those sequent formula shadows, so it's a matte, but you can see the glitter in there. We have found recently, you and I, since my Tati video, that it is best to use these types of shadows with your finger, in my opinion. If a brush works for you, that is awesome. And you wanna press it in. And the reason why I'm choosing to use my finger is because the base of this shadow is a matte formula. You just have all these little suspended little micro glitters in there. And for me, when I apply it with a brush, they tend to kind of flick away, I think, from the brush hairs. So I have found, and I know a lot of guys recommended to me in my Tati live swatching video, to try to use your finger because then you can really pack the glitters on. And you guys were completely right. It's like you're geniuses. This is a beautiful, beautiful, deep, rich, dusty lavender. And it has just little pink and gold glitters that are really, really pretty. And they are actually sticking because we're using our finger. God, it's so beautiful. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty and I really dig the sequin in it. It's really, really gorgeous. So that is the shade Mariposa. 
we are running right through this, you guys, almost to the bottom row. The next one is called Angel Baby, or Angel BB. <laughs> I don't know how people pronounce that. <laughs> you know this color is up my alley. It is some smoky goodness. It is so rich. I don't even, it's an extremely muted, deep, burgundy purple. I almost wouldn't say burgundy because there's not a lot of red in it. It's more eggplanty, I guess. It's It almost tricks the eye. When you look at it from far away, you really can't tell much color. I think even on camera, it looks kind of like just a dark brown, but like up close, there's just like super yummy, just eggplanty tone. And I love it, especially with this palette. We could do a lot of smoky, lavender, dusty, romantic eye looks and that just it makes me so happy so there is the shade angel bb angel bb i don't know i feel dumb saying it next up we have the shade lush lush is like a very 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 light taupe a little more neutral uh compared to the shade wild wing that second one in the palette i'm thinking i would have replaced either this shade probably this shade i was gonna say or wild wing to add one more like more unique color this is the only one that i think isn't absolutely necessary to the palette it is gorgeous it is i really love this color just soft subtle and like i said it, it totally completes the palette it fits the theme and it's nice to have that one kind of lighter shade in there but but had we removed it and maybe just had one pop of i don't know <laughs> I don't know, maybe something else. I think that would have been nice, but it does flow really nicely in the palette. So yeah, there is the shade Lush. Next we have the shade Ch Ch Changes. Uh, you know what I should have had for this video? I should have got some, I didn't have enough time. I just got this collection today and I only got it today because I was texting with my ColourPop girl my ColourPop girl, um, somebody at ColourPop, and I was like, hey, listen, I haven't gotten the last few launches. I don't know what's happening. I was like, I'm sorry if I'm kicked off the PR list. <laughs> she was like, no, I have no idea what happened. She was like, but I'll overnight them to you really quickly. I was like, oh, you're a freaking godsend. Thank you so much. So yeah, thank God I messaged her. I don't know that I would have got these. I don't know what happened. I think it just got lost in the sauce. But anyway, I should have had some butterfly, like 90s butterfly hair clips. I think that would have been really funny. Early 2000s butterfly hair clips <sighs> i love this i love this it is a stunning warm brown this is not unique this we've seen a thousand times before but it's kind of like a red dirt type of color and it'll go beautifully with any shade in this palette i do believe it's always great to have a brown in a palette no matter if it's a blue palette purple palette green palette orange palette red palette i just think it's always great to have that handy brown shadow so there is the shade Ch Ch changes all right, this is our last real metallic of the palette. This is the shade Getaway. I think it's going to be a nice kind of mushroomy taupe. Ooh, she's pretty. Just applying it with a dry brush at first. I love that there's not a lot of pink in it or beige. It's just really, just really truly taupe. Really, really glamorous. Muted. This palette was just like made for me. It really, really was. I adore this. Uh, so there it is with the dry brush, you guys. Let's go ahead and wet it now. And that just really gives it that metallic. Whoa! Oh my gosh it like looks wet I know I shouldn't be surprised I say this every freaking time with one of these types of shadows but this one like really electrified even more than the shade uh just imagine I would say um maybe even more than sun flare this one just like I love it I could see like JLo wearing an eyeshadow like this it's very JLo-esque yeah we're gonna start calling shades like this JLo I don't know why but anyway there is a shade Getaway. It is so stunning. I love how wet and glossy it looks on the eyes. And I think if you just blended it out, don't even do like a crease color. I know I'm doing this with my finger. I'm tired. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> p.m. not a.m. um and some big lashes and like a classic red lip or even a dark vampy lip there's so many ways to do it but I think it would look gorgeous so there is the shade getaway and last but not least you guys we have one more sequin formula I can't tell if this is a black a dark brown I think it's a dark brown it's called float on and it has little gold yeah small little gold glitters in there oh yeah a super 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 dark brown super dark espresso, like even darker than espresso shades. And it almost doesn't look fully matte to me. It doesn't feel fully matte either. I think it's more of like a satin formula. There's like a bit of a sheen that I think 
you really honestly wouldn't notice that much until you touch the shadow and if especially if you're applying it with your fingers then you'll kind of see there's somewhat of a sheen to it but it's really it's really subtle I doubt it would even you know make much of a difference this one I think could have used a little more gold glitter because even though I'm applying it with my fingers I think there's maybe three glitters on the entire eye it just didn't seem like enough to me for example when you compare it to um, Mariposa Mariposa has like 10 times the amount of sparkle in it for a sequence shadow so I wish float on had a little bit more and I would have loved maybe even even a pink in float on a little pink shimmer but yeah you guys that is the shade float on all right you guys we did it we live swatched the whole butterfly collection let me know your thoughts I'm like dying to know what you guys think about this collection specifically because I agree when you look at it for the first time or when you look at pictures online I don't think it looks particularly amazing I don't at all but I think after actually trying things on it'll probably be so far to date like in my top five ColourPop collections of all time something about this collection just it may, and maybe it's just my preference it really spoke to my heart the colors just really won me over all the different dimension all the different tones the color shifts in the products it was really beautiful and this will actually be a very very memorable collection for me and it definitely will just always ring and kind of stand out in my head as one of my favorite ColourPop collections for sure this is just gorgeous 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 I highly recommend it if you celebrate the holidays this is a great little gift to give someone I think sometimes people almost feel guilty buying like fun makeup for themselves or something more colorful that that maybe they can't wear every day I think a super shock shadow one of the jelly much eyeshadows or this palette would just be such a nice little treat for somebody so yeah anyway you guys this did launch yesterday I will link all the products down below for you guys if you want to check them out if you already picked some items up I'd love to hear what you picked up I really hope you grabbed bouquet and also I hope a lot of people didn't grab bouquet because I want them all and if it sells out I will be furious I need it to last forever like Colourpop please never take it away it is so special to me anyway I'm done you guys if you want to check these out you can also use my affiliate code Shay for 10% off of your order I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video it'll probably be a Colourpop one because they are working me to death <laughs> Colourpop I need a break please <laughs> I think we all need a break I think your wallets need a break <laughs> like my god anyway I love you guys and I'll see you again soon bye